Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Congressman Tom Rooney. It's my pleasure to give you an update as to what happened this week in Congress. As I'm sure many of you know, opioid and other drug addiction is an epidemic spreading across this country at a very alarming rate, devastating thousands of families and communities alike. On average, 44 people die every day from an overdose of prescription painkillers in the United States. In fact, more middle-aged, middle-class people are dying in this country from substance abuse than ever before. So something is seriously going wrong here. Now, I understand that painkillers, when properly administered and used, can provide needed relief. I myself have been prescribed pain medication after back surgery. But why these pills go from helping to hurting and even killing some people is a problem that we have to solve together. All of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle have heard the heart-wrenching stories, stories of families torn apart and young lives lost, all due to substance abuse. This week, the House of Representatives focused solely on the opioid epidemic facing this country and passed a number of critical bills which provide the necessary support and resources to help stem the tide of this tragic problem from ravishing our communities. One House pass bill aimed at protecting veterans is H.R. 4063, the Jason Simkakowski Promise Act, named after a Marine who tragically died from mixed drug toxicity caused by improper medication management by VA staff. 50 to 60% of veterans live with chronic pain, and the death rate from opioid overdose among veterans is nearly double that of the national average. So this bill will provide veterans with safer, more personalized care to deal with the physical and mental wounds that they are facing. It will also improve the efficiency and opioid safety measures at the VA. The House also passed Senate 32, the Transnational Drug Trafficking Act, which will help federal prosecutors pursue the source of these drugs by granting them greater authority to go after drug manufacturers and traffickers in other countries who traffic narcotics into the United States. Under current law, individuals in drug trafficking organizations can actually evade prosecution by claiming that they didn't know that the drugs were destined for the United States. But this bill amends the Controlled Substance Import and Export Act to give our law enforcement officers an additional tool to identify and target those trafficking drugs in Central and South American source nations. And finally this week, the House passed H.R. 5046, the Comprehensive Opioid Abuse Reduction Act of 2016. This bill creates a comprehensive opioid abuse grant program at the Department of Justice, which will direct federal resources directly to our states and local communities, specifically for opioid programs. By styling this as a competitive grant program for opioids, this bill will give states and localities maximum flexibility to attack opioid abuse issues that are unique to their communities. So given the tools and resources to the states and local municipalities should help solve the opioid problem from the bottom up. It's our responsibility to help people reclaim their lives and get back on their feet in the midst of this drug addiction. The House and Senate will now come together, package our respective bills, and send a full comprehensive package to the President. Opioid addiction affects our friends, our neighbors, and our family, and mine is certainly no exception. So helping these individuals suffering from opioid abuse is not a partisan issue. It's encouraging to see Washington do what it's supposed to do and come together to help put a stop to this growing epidemic that's threatening our nation. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this message, and I hope that you and your families have a great weekend. Keep the faith.